Well, you're not considered a comedian. You're considered a, a great actor, an Academy Award-winning actor, and yet you deliver not so much comedy, but you deliver humanness that makes us laugh. I think is the way I'd like. To yeah. Say. Well, that's great. If I do, if I do, that's terrific. You didn't say out that way, did you? Uh, no, and I don't have a preference of comedy over drama. I, what I do like most of all is finding stories in, uh, in which my character is, is involved on in both comedy and drama, like going way back to The Apartment, which was a brilliant script that really wasn't a comedy, and, uh, but was a drama with comedy. Uh, I think that, that life is like that. Uh, as I was saying earlier, that, uh, I think that some of the funniest things that happen are never funny to the people they are happening to at that time. They're only funny to somebody else looking at them. If it's somebody else that it happened to, slipping on a banana peel, the old pie in the face joke, uh, things like that. that they're no, there's nothing funny about it, and yet there is sometimes if we look at it and it's not us. Or if it was us, if we're looking at it in retrospect. I remember one time Annie Bancroft was telling me, she's married to Mel Brooks, of course, who is a terribly funny guy, and Annie is a very funny lady, uh, aside from being a great actress. And we were doing Prisoner of Second Avenue and talking about things that were funny and, and this very thing that I'm talking about now, that they're not necessarily funny when they're happening. And she said she remembers one night when she and Mel got into a terrific argument and her Italian temper was flying, and her hands were flying. She was being very emotional. And Mel could not shut her up. He could not stop her. He couldn't get a word in. He kept trying to top her. It didn't do any good. And then finally, in the middle of the thing, just to calm her down, he reached out, and he grabbed her just below both shoulders. And he shook her for a minute and held on to her and said, calm down. And she looked at him. And as an actress used an old phrase, she looked at him holding on to her with both, with both hands and said, don't touch my instrument, meaning her body, and so forth. And he looked at her, he said, your instrument? And she said, yes. And she was being very serious, not trying to be funny. He cracked up. And he said, well, uh, let me hear you play Melancholy Baby. <laughs>